All right, guys. So I spent $312 on Google Indexer software. Here's what I found in the first 24 hours. Pretty good episode today, guys. So if you guys don't mind, I spent all this money for no reason. So you guys owe me a couple things. A like on this video, a subscribe. Plus, if you can comment Google Indexers for the YouTube algorithm, that'd be great. Um, before I get to it, I typically go through report my numbers from yesterday and I eat a bit of creatine. So if you want to skip down to the results, just um, skip to the chapters on YouTube, please. And thank you. All right. Creatine. Oh, oh God. So thick. A couple C's in there. Here you go. All right, let's go. Um, so yesterday I did 3.6K in total revenue down $200 from the day before. Mostly from the 400 or so drop in Amazon revenue. But uh, so yesterday was 1744. Mediavine was uh, $914 and OnlyFans. We are back up to $1,000, baby. Um, so I'm not going to talk about what happened, but we're, it's going well. You Google. Sorry, uh, I'll, I'll probably bleep that out. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's look at the granular details. All right, cool beans. Uh, ordered revenue, 32.2K. Multiply that by 54 to get estimated earnings. Decent day. A uh, bit of a drop yesterday. Saturday, I think, historically is not great. Um, but Sunday's is kind of popping. So uh, tomorrow I'll report the Sunday. I don't know what the hell happened. But yesterday, uh, commissions were pretty high on Levanta, $226. I'm not going to assume that's the new norm, but yeah, let's get today's to today's episode, guys. All right, guys. So uh, if you want access to this sheet, today would be the one that where you get the sheet. All right. So you sign up for the first link in the description. You get emailed this sheet from Notion. You go to episode 189, and then you'll see all the results of the indexer. A um, couple of things to know about indexers. What, what are they? Uh, why do you need them? so on and so forth. So indexers are good for indexing your backlinks. Uh, what that means is if you build a backlink from another site pointing to your site and it doesn't get indexed, there's no, it actually there's no value in that. So you run it typically run it through an indexer because you can't submit it on Google Search Console because you don't own the site, right? So you have to use external indexers. Um, this one works especially well for citations. And that's exactly what I ran this experiment on. It's citations. Um, so here's the setup. I'm going to show you guys the document. Uh, I also linked to it. So you guys have access to the sheet. And uh, what I did was I let's let it load first. But um, yeah, it's taking a while to load for some reason. I don't know why but uh, I included price per indexing like single indexing submission, uh, submission date, which was yesterday, uh, we're roughly 24 hours in. And here are the results. I also made sure to test the amount of um, indexed posts before I submitted anything, because some of them are naturally indexed, right? So uh, as you can see, uh, percentage not indexed as submission is roughly 90, I would say like 95% on average. And then I took a couple uh, data points. So I took a data point at 12 hours and one at 24 hours. And the re results are pretty good. Um, but yeah, I what I did was, here's a setup. You guys can unhide the first couple of rows. I created citations for five of my random websites. Um, I made sure they're all in the same niche and in the same city. They're all in Seattle. Because if I don't do it in the same niche and same area, then it'll be in different subdirectory of the site. So that will add a new like variable. Only thing I couldn't control because the um, the vendor I didn't really give uh, follow instructions correctly. But I asked him to use the same uh, citations for each site, which he followed pretty closely. I think there's only a difference of one to three on average. So I just I just included it. I was like, oh, I can't, can't figure out how to filter it. So I just included it all. And that's it. So um, he delivered everything on May 17th. On May 18th, I ran the experiment. I ran it through 
five different indexers. Um, they're linked here. So speed links, we got speedy index bot on telegram index me now giga indexer and omega indexer. The price per link is here. Um, speed links at two cents. Uh, speedy indexer bot is at like 0.4 cents. So it's like pretty by far the cheapest index me now at a whopping dollar per link fucking expensive. So how I calculated the price per link was I took the lowest, um, lowest plan and then calculated there because most people don't need that large of a plan. That's why, um, obviously there's, pri uh, there's econ economies of scale. So if you buy more indexing, then it'll be cheaper. Uh, price per indexing for Giga Indexer, 28 cents, also really expensive, and two cents for Omega Indexer. So let's look at the results. All right, I'll, I'll go back here. And here we go. Um, obviously, by far the best one is the Speedy Index Bot. If you guys want um, to click my affiliate link here, please do um, just sign up for the link in the description, sign up using my link and it'll help, you know, and it's dirt cheap. Anyways, I, don't, I probably won't get paid much for this anyways. So after the first 12 hours, amount of links indexed, uh, 4%, 10%, 2%, 2% and 0%. So that's like percentage of change from the first, uh, from submission. And then 24 hours later, 4%, 40%, with the, the Telegram bot, 15%, 2%, and 2%. So that means not much change in Giga Indexer, Speed Links, and uh, Omega Indexer as well. So the only ones that worked really well were actually Speedy Index Bot and Index Me Now. But I think at a whopping dollar per fucking link, I should probably bleep that out, Telegram bot wins. Only issue with the Telegram bot is it's a Telegram bot. The UX isn't great, but then you play around with it and it's fine. You All you have to do is upload a TXT file and then it'll just submit it. So I guess it's not that bad. It's just, I, I rather work with like a submission uh, field, if that makes sense. And yeah, that's, that's it guys. I'll continue to update this test as it goes on. Cause I think the first 24 hours are very important because we care about speed here. But um, the first, I'm gonna, close things up after like a week or so. And uh, guys, if you like today's episode, remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'm going to answer some questions from the previous video. That's it. All right. So Casino Billionaire says it depends how the search results look on mobile. Most people are searching on mobile. So the ads will be more attractive. Maybe, maybe you, I guess he means the links. But um, uh, for context, because maybe some people didn't watch my previous video. I said uh, majority of people won't click these links here. And most people, when searching best protein powder, will just click the images. Because, you know, we're humans, right? We like to click images. I don't know. But he claims that uh, if it's on mobile, this might be more prominent. Maybe. Maybe. I, don't, I haven't checked for mobile yet. But this is um, it's just a discussion point, you know? Thanks for the Google AI overview, Jackie. I tend to agree. I don't think people will click those links on the right unless there's a compelling headline. And Benno says... They won't click them, period. I agree. Thank you for the comments, guys. Hey, man, do you recommend Yext for local ranking rent? No. My citations aren't indexing. I tried Kevin's PBN, not seeing any change. Try um, try the indexer I talked about today. So they work very well for citations because, I mean, I ran the whole test on citations. All right. Jackie, have you ever thought about creatine in pill form? Yeah, but then you got to eat, like, a lot. You gotta eat like five. Fuck that, man. I'm like choking down on the pill forms. I don't know. Uh, Google adding AI to everything. Yeah, I mean they're 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 falling behind, so it ain't great. Two minutes seventeen. Skip to creatine. Skip creatine. <laughs> Rev and creatine reports. Thank you. Um, I'll include that today. Are you seeing any of the posts in your Reddit group right, working re ranking really well? I remember seeing a couple thousand uh, visits on the Reddit group. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's not the right way to take creatine. Yep. Google AI overview. Wow, that's disgusting. Three natural links would on the right look spammy now. That doesn't look good at all for CTR. I was wondering how I make money. This crap search. This is a crap search, but people will naturally click the ads in this situation. Probably. 
Yeah, review. My ranking rant side has moved from seven to ten. What should I do to push it to the top of three? That's his crit. That's savage. Um, Paulo just needs some backlinks, man. Needs some backlinks. Check out my HVAC c case study. My HVAC case study in London is ranking top three. It's just all I did was build a couple guest posts. Doesn't think it'll impact links that much. Probably not. All right, guys, um, that's all the time I have for today, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. If you like me spending money for no reason, please, please help me out. All right, help me out. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I didn't think maybe I should have dropped this episode on Monday instead of Sunday because no one's working on a Sunday, but fuck it. You know, fuck it. It'll be okay. All right, see you guys tomorrow.